Hey friends, today we're going to be drawing a wizard. Yeah, we're going to draw a really cool magic wizard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, checkers, you got your marker? Yeah. All right, we hope you guys have a marker or something to draw with so that you can follow along with us and that you also have a piece of paper in front of you. If you're using a marker, you may want to use two pieces of paper. That's what we do, right? Yeah. So that it, it doesn't go through the one piece of paper and then it's onto the table, right? Yeah. Yeah, and we're going to be drawing a wizard. He's going to be really cool. We're going to draw, we're not going to draw him too cartoony. He'll look a little cartoony, but we're going to draw him a little more realistic. And when I mean realistic, I don't really mean super realistic. I just mean not cartoony with a big head and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You remember the last one we did? Uh-huh. What was it? The Roman Schultz. The Roman soldier. Yeah, he's a really cool Roman soldier. And I think we need to do more people like this, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you haven't seen that Roman soldier, we'll leave a link up here that you can click and go watch that video after this one. All right, dude, you ready to start? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. All right, checkers, we got our paper vertical, and that's horizontal. because we're drawing, nope, horizontals like this, oh. <laughs> verticals like this. And we're, the reason why is because we're drawing a person and he's standing up, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to first start up here with his hat. So we're going to start with, well, the top of his head. Let's draw a kind of a, cra a U shape like this. And this is going to be for the top of his head. And we're going to draw his beard. Oh, oh I just bumped you. <laughs> I'm really you. sorry. Dude. Oh, I almost <laughs> <did it> again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop it. Sorry. That's rude, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So this could be the top of his head, and we're going to draw a hat that goes over that. But let's draw his hair, and it's going to come down into a beard, okay? So he's got a really crazy beard. It's going to come down really far, like this, and down. And we can draw little zigzags down at the bottom, for the bottom of his beard. Oh, I like how wavy you're making his beard. That's awesome. Thank <laughs> Okay, now let's draw the inside of his beard. So we're just going to come down Ugh. like this. What? <laughs> the inside of a beard. The inside of a beard. Yeah, that does sound kind of gross. <laughs> you know what? Let's actually, before, let's stop there with that line. And let's draw his eyes. So we're just going to draw uh, two little dots. So it's a little more realistic. <laughs> but when I mean realistic, Done. I mean just not. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice try. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he has a serious problem. <laughs> All right. Okay, now let's draw his nose. And we're just going to draw a little V shape, right? Like that. In between and below the eyes. Good job. And then let's draw. So now we got these this line over here on this side for the side of his hair. Or the side of his beard. And let's draw another line on the other side. Good job. And then we need to draw his mustache that's coming over. And then under his nose. And then connects mustache good job and then we can draw his little mouth right here <laughs> good that looks awesome okay now let's draw the top of his hat so it's going to come out around and it's going to follow that same shape that we first started with looks like a cowboy cowboy hat I mean, oh, it does kind of look like um, a farmer or something yeah farmer <laughs> we're going to change that <laughs> This is a good starting place, though. We could <laughs> we could keep this and then do another video with a farmer. That would be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> let's remember that, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's draw the top of his hat. And he's a wizard, so he's got a really top. top he uh, has really a top tall, hat. Not he has top, a top hat. No, he doesn't have a top hat. I meant to say tall hat. There we go. Off the page. Wow, that was really tall. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's going to take this wizard serious. <laughs> All right, let's draw shoulders next. So we're going to draw little lines that come out the side. <laughs> nice job, dude. All right, so we're going to draw his body first, and then we're going to come back and do his arms. So okay. from these shoulders, we're going to draw the side of his body, and he has a really long kind of cloak. And so we're going to draw it lines that are wavy that come all the way down to the floor where his shoes are going to be. Awesome. Oh, wow. He's really tall. Oh, whoops. <laughs> he's, your head's a little smaller than mine, so that's why he's looking even taller. <laughs> so Hello. you went all the way down to the bottom of the paper, and we could probably extend oh. it, but we're going to use, we're going to put his shoes down there, so that's okay. 
Maybe we'll extend your paper a little bit. No, it's cool. It's awesome, dude. There's no mistakes, right? Yeah. We're having fun? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so let's draw some more details on his cloak, okay? So I'm going to draw another line that comes down, and it's going to come down to about the same length as the side, the side line. And then I'm going to come down with another line right next to it. And if that line is wavy, try to make the line next to it the same kind of wavy. Good job. It's awesome. Okay, now on this side of his beard, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to draw two lines just like that. So I'm going to start up here, come down, and then draw another one right next to it. Like that. So that says cloak and it's going to be open and then he's going to have uh, some more details inside. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Okay. Now down here at the bottom, let's connect this. So we're going to come over here and then connect this line to those, to the other two lines. And I am, I do want, um, I am making this, the center two lines longer than the outside line so that I can curl the outside in like that. And then that's going to make his cloak look like it's wrapping around his body. Awesome. Okay, now let's connect in between here. And I'm going to do it a little higher than the outside lines. Good job. Okay, and then inside here we can draw uh, his waist um, maybe it has a little rope. We're going to put a little rope right here. And then we can also do, uh, let's do two more lines inside that are smaller together like this. He gets tied. His belt is kind of tied around his waist. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Well, if he didn't have the, if he didn't have this, his belt... His pants will fall down. Yeah, he doesn't so, have pants. Oh. <laughs> well. well. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try his first arm over here. <laughs> so we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw his his arm coming out of his shoulder. Oh geez, <laughs> now I got the giggles. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna draw two lines. We're gonna draw one that comes out of that shoulder and one that comes out of this shoulder, and. Want those to be the same length. Whoops. <laughs> it's curved. Now his arm's broken. <laughs> That's all right. Maybe you could draw his arm uh, going down. I was going to have this arm uh, up like this. And then um, on this side, I was going to have his arm kind of out this way. He's going to be holding his staff. Now I'll do the staff. And so this one's just coming out to the left. There we go. Cool. Okay, now let's stick draw. Stick figure hands. He's got really cool sleeves. Stick figure <laughs> hands. Yeah, we'll finish them. Here we go. So we're going to draw really cool sleeves. So we're going to draw a line that comes down on both sides. Like this. Good job. And Wait. I curved it a little oh. bit this way. And you could probably draw the line that comes down here. Like that. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so on this hand, let's just draw it coming out. So I'm going to draw a little curve coming out and then looping back. And that's going to be for his thumb. And then we're going to draw another curve coming out like this. And then we're going to draw the fingers like this. And I'm just going to draw three fingers. So I, draw, I drew um, them overlapping. Good job. And then we're going to draw the hand coming back. Well, that's a big hand. <laughs> oh, mine's <laughs> Yours is really big, too. <laughs> it has an extra, extra, extra large glove. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, maybe we need to work on hands. Yeah. All right. Okay, so let's try it. Let's finish this sleeve. So this will be really cool. We're going to have another line right here. And then we can color this in. <laughs> laughing at his hand. 
<laughs> I love it, dude. You always make me laugh, man. Okay, let's finish his arm. Okay. We're gonna come back up here where his armpit is. Where his armpit would start <laughs> and then come down into there. Okay? okay. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's where, where his armpit is. <laughs> where his armpit would start. Yeah, where it would start. Start off. Start. <laughs> All right, that hand is cracking me up, man. <laughs> okay, let's try some fire coming out of that baby. <laughs> let's try a U shape <laughs> coming out of that thing. <laughs> Better draw it big, man. <laughs> Some big fire coming out of that hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's do let's do one curve on this side, and then we'll, and then we're gonna curve back down. Good. And then let's do another curve that comes up. Good job. And then let's draw another curve down. We'll draw another curve up. So it just kind of makes it look like fire. Yeah, that's awesome. Fire. <laughs> and we'll color that fire really awesome with our oil pastels, okay? okay? All right, so let's come over here and let's finish his other arm. So we can come down here. We can do this other line where it starts in his armpit and then comes down. <laughs> yeah, nice. And then let's draw his hand. So I'm going to draw a curve that comes out. Let's see if we can do a better job. You may want to draw this one big too, yeah. so it matches. <laughs> and then we're going to curve down for his thumb. He's going to be holding his staff. So here we go, his magical staff. Uh, curve around. There's his hand. And, <laughs> yeah, punchy that's gloves. punchy gloves. Oh. <laughs> and, then, and you can put the fingers in there if you want. I just put two lines in there. We could really work on hands, huh? Yeah. <laughs> this hand's a little smaller than this one. <laughs> Wait. Wait for it. All right, good job. And then I'm going to connect his sleeve like we did on the other side, like that, and then color that in. Good job. All right, Kate, now let's do his staff. He's got a <laughs> dance. Uh, <laughs> he's what? You want to dance? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do let's do his magical staff. So at the very top of the staff, let's do his like an orb. There's like a cool thing at the top. He uses for magic. And then let's come down with two lines that come off the side. And then this is going to come into his hand. So he's holding it. Like that. And then I'm going to have it come out at the bottom of his hand. All the way down to the floor. And then do another line right next to it. If we go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yes. You guys can always pause the video. Awesome. It's holding a lollipop. <laughs> a lo that's a really big lollipop. <laughs> he looks super awesome, dude. You did such a good job. I even love his super big hands. <laughs> All right, we need to color him, don't you think? Okay. Okay. All right, checkers, we got our colors picked out. We got a white. We also have a peach color. We have a dark blue that we're going to use for shading, but we also have a light purple, and that's going to be for his cloak. Then we have a light gray, a dark gray, a brown, and then we also have a light blue we're going to use for the fire. Kay. It's going to be magical fire. You ready to color? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's fast forward the whole thing, and then we'll talk about what we did after, okay? Okay, let's All right. do it right now. Good job, checkers. So we ended up using black on the, on the rope for his belt, right? Yeah. Okay, so we got them all filled in, and we did do a little bit of shading while we were fast forwarding, and that was just on his beard, and then also the fire and the, and the uh, the orb that's on top of his staff, and that was just we used the dark, we used the light gray, and then we went back over and blended with the white. Yeah. Okay, so now let's do a little shading on his robe. So we're gonna use this dark blue. 
and we're going to come in here underneath his arm and we're going to put in some shading. Doesn't that look more 3D? Yeah. So we can blend that in after we put that in. We'll put it on this side too. Come back under here. And you could use a black probably for the shading too. And then I'm going to use this down the side of his cloak also. And on this, this side of his cloak. Then we're going to use the same purple to go back over and blend that shading into his arm so it looks more smooth and 3D. There we go. Oh, it looks so awesome. Okay, now let's get Okay, now let's get that dark blue again and we're going to do a, a layer that's underneath his hat so the bottom of this part looks like it's in shadow. And then we're also going to come back up and do the side of his his hat. And this is going to make it look 3D and round and come back in and blend it. Okay, and then the last part is we're going to get our white and we're going to do a little layer on top. And we're just going to do a little triangle shape so that it looks like there's a little highlight on, on his hat. Now it looks really 3D, doesn't it? Yeah. So it looks like there's light shining on his hat and it looks like it's round. And we could do the same thing on his shoulders. So we'll put a little highlight on his shoulder and then it looks like there's light touching his, shining on the top of his shoulder. And then we can go down the side of his sleeve on this side, on this side, and then also maybe a little bit on the top of this part of his arm. Oh, that looks so cool. I'm gonna come down a little bit further down the front of his body and then I'm gonna come back with that with the same purple that we first started with and blend that back up a little more cool chuckers that looks so cool <laughs> all right Kate now let's do a little more shading on the inside of his of right under his beard and also the inside of his uh, cloak so we have that really dark uh, gray and we put just a layer that's underneath his beard and this is going to make it so that his beard stands out a little more. And then we can also do a light layer that goes all the way down to the bottom on both sides. And we use that black to do the, the uh, belt, but we probably should have waited and done that very, very last. So then you can take the light gray, go back over it, and blend that shadow in so it looks a little more realistic. Chuckers, good job, man. Give me five. Did you have fun? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Um, <laughs> coloring. Coloring? Oh my my God, favorite part is definitely your hands. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. He turned out super awesome. And I really like how our wizards look different. Yours is kind of skinnier and a lot taller. And he's got those mega hands he looks like he can punch somebody with. <laughs> That's the best part about doing art is that it doesn't have to look perfect, right? Yeah. And the most important thing is... To have fun! <laughs> Yes, we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your wizards with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye, friends. Oh, I'm going to hang on the power. <laughs>